Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, building a model from geoprocessing history. Let's get started. I'm revisiting some data that I was sorting using code block in Field Calculator. What I'd like to do is pull my geoprocessing history and use that code inside of a model so someone else besides myself could repeat this process. So let's navigate over to the Analysis tab and go to History. If I double click, I can see how things were right when I ran that code. Let's double check. Click Verify, Enable Undo, and Run. Great, everything's working. So now let's start a model. Now let's discard. There we go. And we're going to move on over to Model Builder. Right here in the Analysis tab. You should see a new model come up. I'm going to back out of my current geoprocessing calculate field and I'm going to go to the history. I can grab this morning's or the older. Simply drag and now I have the beginnings of my model. Let's open up calculate field just to make sure everything copied over. Fabulous! No copying, pasting. Code's all ready to go. Now, I would like to change what this points to. I'd like it to apply to more than just my sample, so I can easily change my input, and then click OK. Notice that it's disconnected from my previous and connected to the new layer. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one by just hitting the Delete key. And here I'm going to right click and tell it to be a parameter. This way, when I go to run my model, I can have the layer be an input rather than just the same one every time. Now I've brought up the attribute table so I can verify when the model runs successfully. But let's first clear our selection. I'll head back to the map ribbon and click clear. Now we'll go back to our model and you'll notice that the model ribbon tab has now come back up. I'm going to validate just to be sure, it's always a good process. And then I'm going to run. I can also run individual tools by right-clicking Run. Now that it is run, I can see here in my owner exceptions that the code ran successfully. Returning to the model, you'll notice that the name here says Houston Parcels 2, and that's because the output is also Houston Parcels. So what I can do is give this a different name. And now I'll click Save. Closing our model, we can navigate over to the Catalog pane by going to View and Catalog pane. Go back to our project because we were still in history. And here under Toolbox is where we're going to find our new model. Let's double click and see if it prompts us for our parameter. Perfect. Now I can choose which layer. I would like to have run the model. So let's recap. Using geoprocessing history in the analysis tab, we were able to take a previous geoprocessing tool and drag it into the model. From there we were able to set parameters and save our model so that someone using this could navigate to the model and repeat the owner expression without having to copy and paste code. I think this is a great stopping point. To learn about the featured code block today, check the description for the video below. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.